Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing the recipe of a very traditional snack which is achimuruku or rose cookies. This is also known as achapam and we used to normally make this during Christmas. Achimuruku is my favorite snack and it's quite tricky to make this. We prepared this achimuruku during Christmas and my amma is only making this. To be frank, I am not good at making this and my amma is pro in making achimuruku. Let's begin by soaking 2 cups of raw rice. We need to soak the rice in water for 2 hours. Drain the water completely and leave it for half an hour. So we need to dry the water completely because we are going to powder it. We have powdered the raw rice using a mixer grinder and you should be getting like this. You should powder it very nicely and sieve it. My amma is sieving the powdered raw rice. Here is the achimuruku mold and this is the non-stick one. Usually my amma is to apply oil onto the mold and leave it overnight. You can leave at least for a couple of hours before making achimuruku. Well, these are the things we have to prepare ahead of time. Here are the ingredients to make achimuruku. We have taken 2 cups of raw rice which is soaked and powdered. 2 cups of powdered sugar, 1.5 cups of thick coconut milk, 1 tablespoon of black sesame seed, 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder, 1 cup of maida and 2 eggs. Firstly, whisk in 2 eggs slightly like this. Slowly add in the powdered sugar and continue mixing. Well, getting the right consistency of the batter is quite tricky and you'll get out of experience. The powdered sugar should be added little by little rather than one go. Look at it friends, the powdered sugar and the egg has combined really well. Now add a little coconut milk and continue mixing. Here we have taken 1.5 cups of coconut milk but we are not going to need everything. Mix the batter gently while adding the coconut milk. At this point of time, we have added nearly 3 4 cup of coconut milk. Now add in the powdered rice flour and continue mixing. We are adding the rice flour little by little and mixing. If you find the batter is thick means you can add in the coconut milk and mix it. We will need the remaining coconut milk later while frying the murukku. So for backup only I have taken 1.5 cups of thick coconut milk. To be honest, there is no specific measurement to add in the coconut milk, so everything depends on the consistency of the batter. After adding the rice flour, it's time to add the maida. We have taken 1 cup of maida for 2 cups of raw rice. Our achimurku batter is almost ready now. Add in 1 tablespoon of black sesame seed and 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder. So this cardamom powder gives nice flavor to our achimurku. Achimurku batter is ready and when you dip in a spoon, you should be able to draw a line and this should be the consistency. See I have taken 1.5 cups of coconut milk and used almost 50% of it. The batter will thicken in due course of time and we need to loosen it by using coconut milk. We have taken sunflower oil to deep fry the achimurku. For the first time, you need to dip in the mold into the hot oil for 1-2 to two minutes. Then only the batter will stick to the mold. Slowly dip in the hot mold into the batter and immerse it in the hot oil. You shouldn't dip the mold completely into the batter. If you do so, the batter wouldn't come out of the mold while frying. If the batter doesn't stick to the mold means the mold is not hot enough, so you have to heat it once again. Next time, you can soak in the mold into the hot oil for 10-15 to 15 seconds. So these are the things we have to keep in mind while making achimurku. Hold the mold for 5 to 6 seconds in hot oil and then shake it. Once you shake it, the murku will fall off from the mold. Look at it friends, the achimurku just got released from the mold. If the achimurku doesn't fall off from the mold means use fork or knife and release it. Now we are gonna make a butterfly shaped achimurku. Since we are using two molds, uh, we'll use one after the other molds while making the achimurku. If you're using one mold means each time you have to soak in the mold for 10 to 15 seconds in hot oil before dipping into the batter or else the batter wouldn't stick to the mold. These are the procedures to make achimuruku. I will say how it works in reality. As per my amma's experience in making achimuruku, she would say first 5 to 6 achimurukus wouldn't come properly. You have to work on the batter to get the right consistency. Though you follow the exact measurement, sometimes it wouldn't work. Either the batter will stick to the mold or it wouldn't get released from the mold. Sometimes the batter would spread as soon as you dip into the oil. 
If it comes like that means you can add one or two tablespoons of maida and mix it. If you find your batter is too thick means you can add little coconut milk and mix it. So these are the tips you have to follow while making achumurku. With this measurement you'll get nearly 60 achumurku. Actually it's a time consuming process but it worth the effort. Whenever my amma used to make achumurku she used to keep the gas stove or induction on the floor and cook it. Because we couldn't stand for the whole time to make 60 to 70 achumurkus. Normally we also used to help her while making it. Once the batter gets released from the mold means just flip it and cook it and you should cook to light golden brown color. First when you remove the achimurku from oil means it wouldn't be that crispy. But after 1 to 2 minutes this would turn really crispy. Look at it friends, this should be the color of the achimurku. Our flower as well as the butterfly shaped achimurku is ready now. We have to remove the bits and pieces of muruku before frying the next batch. One more thing is that we have to mix the batter nicely while dipping the mold each time. The batter has thickened slightly so we are adding little coconut milk and mixing. If you add more coconut milk means you can add little maida and thicken the batter. I would say making achumurku is like an art and we have to make it very carefully. Normally in most of the households they make achumurku during Christmas, Diwali or any other festivals. Our beautiful delicious achumurku is ready now. Look at it friends, how cute these rose cookies are. Store the achumurku in an added container so that it will be crispy. Do try this achumurku and share me the feedback. The black sesame seed and the cardamom powder gives nice flavor to the achumurku. I'll see you next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.